Hi guys, welcome back to The Curl Factory. It's Raquel. Today's video is going to be all about how to grow your natural hair. I'm gonna start off by saying that everyone's hair grows every single month. So even if you're not seeing the growth, just know that your hair does grow. Before I get into this video and share with you guys 10 tips, you know what to do. Please subscribe and follow us on our social media. Also, I bring you brand new videos every Monday and Thursdays. Let's get this video started. I have 10 tips for you guys and I've written them down. So if you see me reading, I'm just reading to make sure that I don't miss out any important information that I'd like to share with you. And the first tip that I have is know how much your hair grows every month. Before you dive into, I wanna have long hair, in order to have a realistic approach to it, see how much your hair grows. Does it grow a quarter inch a month? Does it grow half an inch? Or does it grow a full inch? As I said earlier, everyone's hair grows every single month. We don't see it a lot of times because of all the shrinkage that we have, but do a bit of a, a check every month or at least for the next three months. So as I said, you have a bit of a realistic expectation. The second tip I have for you is avoid your hair from breaking, avoid breakage. And I have some tips to help you avoid breakage because if you want length, you can't have breakage. And many times our hair breaks at the same rate that it's growing. So you'll find that your hair has been this length for two years. It's been that length because it's breaking at the exact same rate that it's growing. So the first tip that I have for you to avoid breakage has to do with silk and satin. When you go to bed at night, make sure that you wrap your hair in a satin or silk scarf or you can go out and buy yourself a satin or silk pillowcase. I've bought my satin pillowcases from Mr. Price Home. You can go out and get them from anywhere. You can also go to the fabric store, buy yourself some material and make your own. But when you sleep at night, a satin or silk pillowcase or wrap your head in a satin or silk scarf. Personally, I do both. I wrap my hair and I sleep on a satin pillowcase but it's totally up to you, one of them is good enough. The second tip to avoid breakage that I have is have a wash day routine. On my channel, I have wash day routines, check them out. By putting your hair in a routine every single week, it's gonna allow your hair to settle in and know exactly what to expect. Your hair is gonna know leave-in conditioner, styler, moisturizer, oil. And by doing that every single week, I didn't mention all the steps, but you guys know what I'm trying to say. But by having that routine, it's really gonna help your hair to grow. The third tip that I have for you has to do with detangling. And my preferred way is to finger detangle. I know it can take ages, but trust me, your hair will get used to it. Just like the wash day routine, your hair is gonna get into that routine of finger detangling. My hair took about three to four months to get into the routine of finger detangling, so I suffered for three to four months trying to finger detangle this hair. And I just persisted. Every week was like, how long am I gonna take to detangle? But I pushed through. I did it for three or four months and my hair started cooperating. And by finger detangling, it has helped my hair to grow. The next tip that I have for you is to use a t-shirt on your wash day. Find an old t-shirt, um, you know, cut it up and instead of using a towel to dry your hair, towels, you know, cause frizz, they can cause breakage and they just make your hair dry. By using a cotton t-shirt, it just really helps to kind of coat your hair and protect your hair a whole lot more than a towel will. The third tip that I have for you is to pick a growth method and stick to it. Trust me, I've been where you are if you're watching this video and like you want your hair to grow. There are so many different methods and I'm gonna actually share some methods with you but choose a growth method and stick to it for at least three months. Do the same growth method. If you're kind of gonna be 
chopping and changing all over the show, you might not see the results, you know, the way that you like. And you might think like, gosh, three months require like really, trust me, if you like stick to a growth method after three months, you're going to have a smile on your face when you see just how much your hair has grown. The first growth method that I have for you is to massage your scalp with the natural oil three to four times a week and do this for three months. If your hair likes olive oil, use olive oil. If your hair likes coconut oil, use coconut oil. The oil doesn't really matter, but take an oil, rub it on your fingertips and massage your scalp three to four times a week. Do it for three months, you can thank me later. The second growth method is the inversion method. You guys can Google it, you can go onto YouTube and watch lots of videos. Um, the inversion method also involves a natural oil that you heat up in the microwave and you make sure that the oil is warm, you massage your, your scalp and then you flip your hair over and you keep your hair flipped for a certain amount of time. The blood kind of just rushes to your head, stimulating the scalp, therefore stimulating hair growth. You do this every single day for a week and you only do it one week in an entire month and the inversion method has actually proven to give results of one inch of hair growth in just one week. The last growth method that I have for you is biotin. Biotin is a vitamin that you can get from any pharmacy and when you take biotin you can take it in different dosages. Um, they go up to as high as 10,000 mcgs which is a lot. I'm not a doctor, I cannot, you know, tell you the medical effects that it's going to have on you. But what I can tell you is that the vitamin biotin does help your hair to grow. So consult someone or, you know, do as much research as you can on biotin. By adding that vitamin or that extra dose of biotin into your diet, it is going to help your hair, your nails, as well as give your skin a really good glow. Tip number five is consistency. Consistency is key. As I said earlier, find a growth method and stick to it. If you are consistent, your hair is going to grow. You've got to work at growing your hair. Some people might be lucky and get like a full inch of hair growth a month. I wasn't one of those people, so I had to be consistent in every single growth method that I tried. And I've tried all everything I'm telling you, I've tried. Massaging my scalp, the inversion method, biotin, whatever I'm telling you, I've tried it and it has worked for me. The next growth tip that I have for you is um, tip number six which will be to massage your scalp every single day. Even though you are, if you choose the growth method of massaging your scalp with the natural oil, that is a completely different growth method. But just doing daily massages, you know, just massaging your scalp every single day, not with an oil. You know, while you're watching TV, um, while you're talking on the phone, just keep giving yourself daily massages. And then we have tip number seven. Tip number seven is protective styling. Protective styling is going to give your hair a bit of a, a rest. All the combing we're doing, um, all the managing of our hair can cause our hair to break. So protective styles would be having a bun in your hair, braids, twist outs, just anything that is really going to be low maintenance where you don't have to keep on combing your hair, give your hair a break, tuck it away, use protective and low manipulation styles, your hair is going to thank you later. Tip number eight is no heat. Ladies, put the hair iron down, put the hair dryer down. You can do it. You might feel like, how can I not use heat? Again, I'm telling you from experience, my hair used to be blow dried all the time. Now I probably use heat on my hair once or twice a year, you know, just to do a length check. So not using heat, again, you're pulling your hair, you're trying to straighten it, you're manipulating your natural texture. And by manipulating your hair, you can cause it to break. So please stay away from heat. The next tip I have for you is tip number nine. Tip number 
nine would be to trim your hair find out you know what works for you trimming your hair every three months or four months but make sure that you do trim your hair i know you want length and you think like why would i cut off some of my hair when i want it to be longer by just maintaining because you've got to maintain your hair if you have any split ends by doing these regular trims you are actually doing your hair more good than you are harm and the last tip I've chosen to make this tip number 10 because every single hair video that I've watched, this has always been tip number one and I've always watched videos and I was like, that's easy for you to say. So tip number 10 is going to be, be patient. When you want to grow your hair, you don't have time for patience. You want your hair to grow and you want it to grow now. But unfortunately, our hair only grows a certain length every month. These tips will kind of push it, you know what I mean? If your hair grows like a quarter inch a month, the growth aids will push it to maybe growing half an inch or almost an inch a month, but it isn't going to make your hair grow like five inches, you know, in two months. They're just going to help accelerate the growth that you already have. Ladies, if your hair is about this short and you want it to be waist length, realistically, it's going to take you four to five years. And that's just the reality of it. I, was, I surprised myself this week um, and I realized, you know what? It actually has taken me almost five years. I'm waist length. And that is just a very realistic approach. Be patient, but keep trying. And we're at the end of the video. Thanks for watching. I hope that these 10 tips to help you grow your hair was helpful. Let me know in the comments. I'll see you on social media and I'll load brand new videos on Mondays and Thursdays. Take care.